Hey guys, L2 here from LoseWeightBuildMuscles.com. Uh, coming up to day nine now of 180 in my muscle building and fat loss transformation. Uh, not much to report uh, today. My neck, unfortunately, is still feeling a little bit stiff. I've had two days off of the gym um, to help it relax, help it recover. Um, still feeling a little bit stiff. I'm gonna go back to the gym today, do a little bit of light legs. So just a light leg session um, and see how that goes. Uh, it's unfortunate the first two weeks haven't been as positive as I've liked them to be, um, but it's my body obviously telling me to slow down. So these two weeks are gonna be more of a primer um, for me to to jump up the intensity in the following weeks. So I'm keeping it nice and light, a lot lighter than I'm used to, um, but hey, that's what's necessary at the moment. Uh, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about lagging body parts. So um, although I'm, my plan is to bulk up to 15 stone, uh, my main goal is actually just to get up some of my lagging body parts um, rather than bulk up, rather than bulk everywhere up. I want to bulk up specific areas that are lagging behind. Now if you're just new to starting training, uh, what I'd recommend is, is to treat every muscle group um, equally so give them an equal give them equal attention split them equally up when you structure your routine unless you're coming into building muscle from maybe a sport or something you've played where where you've been dominant in certain muscles so in that in that case you might tweak your workout slightly if you are dominant in certain areas of your body if you're just starting off though you've had no real background in sports then you really need to give your each body part an equal amount of attention. Now for me, once you get to a certain stage, you might find certain body parts are lagging behind other body parts. I've kind of reached that stage now where I'm looking in the mirror and I'm thinking, oh, okay, that could be a little bit bigger. That overpowers another muscle, blah, blah, blah. So for me, I just want to let you know exactly what those body parts are. Um, Starting from the top, I want to focus a lot on my um, lateral delt. So that's basically the side of the shoulder muscle. So shoulders have three heads to them, the anterior deltoid, which is the front of the shoulder. Then you've got the lateral deltoid, which is the side of the shoulder. Then you've got the rear delts, which is on the back of the shoulder here. It's more, it looks more like a part of your back. Okay, so I want to try and get out the laterals a little bit more to really emphasize the width. So when I cut down, my waist is hopefully gonna be tapered in nice and tight. And if I've got the lateral shoulders out a little bit more, then that's really gonna give that, that V taper. So it's really gonna give you that width that fitness models have. Um, also, I'm gonna try and bring up the rear delts as well. Um, that again, from the back, it really just puts a cap on on the rest of your back so it really just adds the icing on the cake to finish off that V taper from the back as well um, so that's the shoulders as far as my chest I find is okay it's probably one of my best growing body parts I have a really good mind muscle connection with my chest um, moving down to the arms my biceps are, are okay they've always grown quite nicely but my triceps have been lagging behind my biceps so Triceps are 70% of your arm size. And unfortunately, I don't tend to get, if I'm honest, a very good mind-muscle connection with my triceps. I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons why my triceps are lagging behind. So um, I'm looking to get my triceps up as well. Moving down, abs is another body part that I've, honestly, in the past, I haven't paid much attention to. Um, you know, they say that you work your abs when you do heavy exercises like squats, deadlifts, and this is true, but to really get those sort of ice cube abs that the fitness models have, the ones that really look like they've been etched from stone, you really need to give particular focus to them and your obliques as well. So that's on the side of the abs there. Um, other parts I wanna bring up is just gonna be my calves after that. So my quads and my hamstrings are actually one of my strongest body parts. Um, I like training legs. They've always responded really well to, to heavy weight that I've used. It's just, my calves are respectable, but 
they need to come up in order to look proportionate with my upper legs so I'm gonna focus on bringing my calves up um, how am I gonna do this well I'm gonna do something quite unorthodox a lot of people or a lot of trainers and gurus might recommend you know training each body part once a week and giving it seven days to recover and that is a good starting point I would say that's a, a good place to start to see how your body reacts to that now when I went through another transformation last year I paid particular attention to parts like my arms um, shoulders I trained each body part twice a week and that worked really well for me and I was actually in the gym five or six days a week so for some people that might be overkill especially if you're starting out it's definitely overkill but for me I found hitting those especially my triceps my triceps got about um, they got hit about three times a week and that's really unorthodox that's most gurus and trainers will probably tell me I'm overtraining, um, but it was something that I hadn't tried before. So you're going to get in touch with your own body. You're going to understand what works for your body, what doesn't work for your body, and that worked really well for my body. Training my body parts, my legging parts, three times a week, two times a week, that really worked well for me. So when I get to Thailand, I'm going to try something different again. I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna do like a like a I'm gonna go to the gym twice a day like a daily split so I'm gonna hit my larger body parts hard and then I'm gonna go home and then go back later in the day and hit my smaller muscle groups hard as well because I tend to find that my large muscle groups get a bit more attention and then when I if I do them in the same workout my smaller muscle groups are, are fatigued um, you know by the time I've done legs I want to go home I don't want to start hitting other body parts um, so I'm going to try a twice a day routine at the gym obviously I've got the time to do that so that's not going to suit everybody but for me I'm going to have the time in Thailand to actually do that so I'll let you know how that goes um, if you want to know what my split is at the moment um, let's help each other out if you guys give me give me 10 likes and if you're on my Facebook, give me 10 shares of this video. So share this video on your wall. Um, it's gonna tell me on my Facebook how many times this has been shared. And if I get 10 likes on my YouTube channel, I will post you exactly what my split is in these, in these first four weeks. So I'm gonna tell you what routine I'm doing, exercises, everything. I'll post it on my website, you can download it. But um, yeah, do me that favor. 10 shares on Facebook, 10 likes, on my YouTube video and I will post my workout for you guys. You can download it and you can have a look. All right, take care guys.